hello 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 everybody and welcome back to the podcast welcome. what's the topic again podcast i am one of the co-hosts imaria love aka mars on the internet and i am deborah love and we just gonna go with that <laughs> and today we are talking about fashion and not like on the sense of mainstream more in the sense our perspective my fashion <laughs> Her fashion. Literally, it's, I would say, two polar opposite anyway. But before we get started, someone is sicky over here. Someone got the sniffles. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not feeling too good today, but I'm feeling better today than what I did yesterday. So that's a plus. So I always try to get the cold early on when when I feel myself Almost getting since sick. the cold catches yeah, the you. the cold catches me. But <laughs> once the colds catch me, I try to kill the virus very quickly yeah. by drinking a lot of tea and taking just one type of medication. I never try to mix my medications or anything like that, but I stick with my ginger tea and turmeric or whatever, but ginger specifically, I stick with that, and it normally knocks my cold out in about two days, so I'm Le- feeling better today than what I did last night. Legit, last week I said to get y'all shots and everything like that. This is a prior witness. <laughs> what yeah, happens when well, I've, I've had my shots, but I would truly say I stopped taking my vitamins that I normally take, B6, B, B6 B12, folate, potassium, mm-hmm. iron, vitamin D. I stopped taking that for like three, four days in a row. Mm-hmm. Not good for me and my immune system. So maybe I caught a cold because of that, but the weather has been crazy here yeah, in the 30s. It, it then it really jumped has. back up into the 60s, yeah. but we're not going to see how we're getting off the topic and I'm stuff. I'm going to say, uh, what's Talking the topic about my cold. <laughs> We talking like, about anyway, fashion. fashion. <laughs> our fashion, anyway. We're gonna be talking about our perspective specifically of our own fashion, not really mainstream. Just what has made us progress over time, especially from our youth, teenage years, and then so on. So pretty much yeah, let's get into it. All right, who wants to start first? <laughs> Well, to be honest with you, we're going to start talking about fashion, especially from a younger age and from a younger perspective. Mm-hmm. I had no fashion at that time. It's whatever my mama bought, and that's what we put on, or mm-hmm. whatever was handed down to us, mm-hmm. that's what we wore, you know. So it really wasn't about fashion, you know, you match things up accordingly, but it was never a name brand associated with anything that we had on growing up, and mm-hmm. that just the honest truth because mm-hmm. you know growing up in a low-income family with five kids you don't think about fashion no you know you just think about just day by day probably playing around and that's yeah. all you think about I mean, that's it we eating good we sleeping good that's right it. she bought us an outfit it was new okay it's new that's fashion it's new yeah. it, it, it would never try to keep up with what the other kids had what the neighbors was wearing what who was wearing at school I didn't I know me personally, I didn't try to keep up with it because I always was really the individual who was mindful of how much money was coming out of my mom's pocket. So mm-hmm. I never tried to ask her for anything that was expensive to that point. Mm-hmm. Whereas I know she couldn't afford it. So right. why would I even put her even in a situation like that? I think at that time when we were growing up, one thing that was really, really popular was the Converse shoes and what you are what you said i must say converse just simply like converse high tops which it stayed in style like the low right. top the high top all right. that and specifically um uh, with converse you said they were cheaper back then they were very cheap i think you all-star converse if i'm not mistaken you can find those in the grocery store when i, I would do my up. research and pull a picture up of the old specifically right. and how like probably marketing sales in newspapers or something or a magazine picture or something of yeah, the we'll pull it up, but it wasn't that expensive when I was growing. I was shocked. I, I don't recall it being that expensive, but of course I was not the kid that was buying my own clothing either. Mm-hmm. So we didn't have that big social media um, platform when it came down to fashion. We, if you could, your family could afford to buy the fashion magazines, then maybe you've seen the newest fashion in the fashion magazines. If we went to the doctor's office because the way they had some magazines that yeah. maybe you've seen it there. You probably seen things on commercials, but we were the kids who liked to play mm-hmm. and have fun. Mm-hmm. Fashion was not a big thing. If you had holes in your clothes or whatever, kids probably teased you growing up like that. But it was never 
about, oh, you got on this and this is a name brand. We, we didn't pay any attention to logos growing up or anything like that. No. Mm. Well, it's a completely different thing for me when I was younger, but not all the way, in my opinion. When I was growing up, especially when I was little anyway, yeah. for me, whatever my mom put on me, it was bright colors. It was just, you know, matching uh, sets and all that. That's right. how that was. And it leaned towards me being a little bit independent when you made me choose like a high low dress maybe, but it still had some fun colors. Right. And then, you know, just maybe you get hair bit headband, maybe a few accessories, you know, try this, that and see what happens. But with you growing up, when it came down to fashion, I shopped at certain stores that mm-hmm. kind of like what I felt like was reasonable when it yeah, came yeah, down yeah. to fashion. Or I made sure that it was it stayed within your range. Right. As far as your age range. Age range, range yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. made sure it stayed within that. And then also, kids grow out of stuff so quick. So yeah. I wasn't going to spend high-priced dollars on something when I know within the next Sometimes months or so. Sometimes, like months, years. You yeah, know? you're just going to grow out of it. Yeah. But if I noticed at times that you weren't growing as fast, then yeah. If I find something on sale, then I probably grab three or four different colors yeah, when yeah. it came to that. But you were a kid. When you outside playing, I didn't spend that much money. No. It, it was never no. a name brand thing for me. I I would take it uh, count on the sense of me squealing at you at the time to get some twinkle toe shoes. I remember that. <laughs> get, uh, the st- You don't know what Twinkle Toes are specifically. If you're not a 2000s kid, you will not know anything about this. It's specifically these shoes that has on the toes sparkles and it has light up uh, bits in it. And they even had it for boys as well, but it was mostly on the base bottom of the shoe. And kids used to run around with them just be- did that come from a, a cartoon or something it they they advertised it not really as a cartoon but more sense the of high top some it, it was the mascot then it turned like the mascot to like have like a spin-off cartoon or something right right it, it was like that well the story behind the twinkle toes shoes yeah she asked me to buy them mm-hmm. i did mm-hmm. and she wore them yep Something happened. It was um. It was like a it was a drill for the school or whatever. And uh, one of my teachers specifically was like, um, you know, they're cute and all, and I get uh like you know they're in right now with the little kids seeing like pretty sparkly shoes that light up is cute and fun, but it could be a hazard for you know if we do have an intruder in the school one day or whatever, to see in the room. They were bright. I'm not going to lie about that. They were very bright shoes when you stopped, and especially when they're not worn in. But for that, I just felt like that. Our school banned it. Um, our elementary school like, banned it for a little they while. They didn't ban it. Yes, you it refused did. to wear them. Oh, yeah, because I got scared. <laughs> you refused to wear them I because of that. I was a wimp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, what? You see, you like, well, if someone comes to the school and we have a dread and we're in the closet, then they're going to find us because my shoes light up well. As a kid, granted, you listen to what the teacher is telling you, yeah. and which to me was wrong, because your shoes is only going to light up when you walk. Yeah. If you're not walking, the shoes are not going to light up. Yeah. And if Either walking or like tap, you, like it almost be like... It's going to have to be some type of pressure brought yeah, it, against you in that shoe yeah. in order for that shoe to light up. Mm-hmm. So... She didn't want to wear the shoe if she did not put the shoe back on, regardless of whether she was going to school mm-hmm. or if we were just going out for anything. They brought she up there in my closet. She refused to wear <laughs> the shoes. So it stayed there in the closet, and I just ended up donating it to a kid who wanted to wear the shoe. I just didn't like the fact. Now, granted, this is my first time hearing that a teacher told you that. Yeah, a teacher did. You didn't tell me that at that time. Oh, <laughs> Because I, I would have gone older. to the school. <laughs> no, you did not. I thought I did when I was older anyway. No, you did not. And okay. I know that you all start having the drill. <laughs> yeah. You all start having the drill when they start having yeah, you maskers do. at yeah. you know, at schools, which was a sad thing. But it was also a sad thing to hear that you didn't want to wear your shoes because you felt like if someone got into the school, then they was gonna find you all hidden in a closet because your shoes lit up. Yeah. 
Which is, like I said, if to a child, that's a scary thought, you know, when something of course. like that And then happens. your teacher's pointing the finger at you as if, okay, you're going to be the reason why. Because your shoes like that, but no. Okay, I'm irritated about that. We're just going to move on to something else according <sighs> to fashion. Oh, Lord, I help it, Jesus. Anyway, specifically, yeah. when I would say, I would say when I was a little older, like probably say double digits anyway, not teenager, just double digits. Uh, I remember specifically, like, I would say church girl outfits. Yeah. I was definitely like the typical, you know, have a dress on, you know, maybe for uh Bible study you can have some like jeans on, but make sure you have a dress and a long cardigan on because your butt shouldn't be showing anyway. No. You <laughs> had to be modest. Presentable. I'm gonna say modest. That's what that was. I mean, I grew up like that like that in the church and then to me I didn't want her to grow up so fast. So with the outfits that you had on at that time I want it to match your age. I don't want you to have on things that was not age appropriate because you bring that attention to yourself based on sometimes some of the things that you have on or what you may have on your face, your body, Yeah, you know. It, 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 it's just more sense of your style of parenting on this, being a protective parent of said child. You know, I was, that's I was it. protective. I was. And, you know, especially with, like, Anything can happen, even to us now. It doesn't matter, yeah. but still, though, yeah. just being protective of one child or oneself, just in general, that's all that is. There's nothing yeah. negative out of that. It's just something to be aware of. That's the word, being aware of what you're doing. That's it. No negativity here. <laughs> oh, no. No, I've never bring the negative in my space anyway. I don't, I don't allow that. Yeah. I kind of, like, stay away from negativity, so... That's going to be my last thing. But as far as fashion, still yeah. going back, as far as me, as far as us growing up, mm-hmm. when we grew up, what I would say in high school, you start thinking about, maybe you start thinking about fashion, but I know some, some people were more or less of creative when mm-hmm. it came down to certain things that they were wearing. But Gloria Vanderbilt, um, Ralph Lauren, like of I course. Said, I have yeah. Ralph Lauren on me right now. As far now. as the polo. Is concerned. Um, it was some other thing. I know people used to wear, you know, that had those emblems on there. Mm-hmm. So, still with me, I was just not that fashion type person. It really never, I didn't know who a designer was. You know who? No, you never got too deep into what no, the no. clothes were. So you like was as long as it fits. It was clothes. The... They match. They fit me they to me they look good on me i never move with the crowd i never worried about who was saying how this look on me compared to how that i like i wear yellow now mm-hmm. i had yellow jeans at the time <laughs> which i had my favorite yellow jeans i think i have a picture of myself in some yellow jeans but it was still fashion for me mm-hmm. when we got hand me downs it was new to me because I probably didn't pay attention to who had what on at what particular time when it came down to clothes. I mean, it is what it is when when I was growing up. And I I like how that kept us grounded. Mm-hmm. You know, if we weren't materialistic when it came down to stuff because things today, and I can only imagine how much it was at that time. It's probably very inexpensive. But either it was inex- expensive for yeah, my in- mom. Yeah, I'm like inexpensive or either just you know, um, if you like like you said, if you can afford it, you'll buy it, you know. But how accessible is it now? Is yeah. actually like, I have this, this, and this, and you flaunt it off. It's like, mm, okay, how much you drop the bag on that? You but know? then still, you think about your generation as well, because something I do because of you is thrift. Yeah, and we yeah, thrift. Sure. And we find good buys when we thrift. And I find buys with tags still on the clothing when we thrift. Yeah. So fashion forward when it comes down to things, you know. Old vintage stuff or stuff that's just like secondhand or never was like sold in manufacturing, manufacturing in general. I think my whole sweater line as far as what I wear when it comes down to sweaters. Me too. I got 
from thrifting yeah. and it still had the tag on it from the store that it came from. Yeah. So it was during the summer. Yeah. I'm, I'm wearing the sweaters now, but it was just the fact that I was able to get a $40, $50 sweater mm -hmm. if I would have bought it in season, as yeah. you know, they put clothing in stores in yeah. season. If I would have bought it in season from that particular store, it would have been that price. Yeah. But me, I'm always looking for the color of the day to mm -hmm. get it half off. Yeah. So, and I think I did. All of them was the color of the day, and yeah. I got them half off. And most of the time, you always can find the color, and it makes me so mad some days. Because I'm, like, I'm just, when I see what the color of the day is, when we thrifting for clothes, mm -hmm. when I see what the color of the day is, that's all I'm looking for is that particular color. Mm -hmm. Anyway, fashion. Um, <laughs> it's more that's fashion. Yeah, Still, even though anyway, thrifting, fashion, it's fashion. Specifically uh, for me, when I was in high school, I remember for sure for myself, I really was kind of just shun kind of clothes like you know just specifically you know if as long as it covers this as long as it covers that then that's fine you know really didn't put too much effort in what i wore because no. i didn't really care and then 2020 hit and i was like you know what i want to try something new i want to try something different different from my normal self anyway and right. i did and i experiment with a couple things from stuff that's really simple to stuff that's really complex and i enjoy doing both of them in my opinion it's like alternative fashion if you're curious of what i mean it's just trying certain things see if you like it because you're styling it in your own way not right. really trying to right. fit into a narrative or in a box that's in my opinion and i just ever since then i've been having fun with it so right because i'm a pantsuit type of person i like my blazers yeah i like my blouse i like my dress pants i consider her business casual that's exactly like. so when i was actually working in the office space mm -hmm. i want to go in the office space looking like that even working from home get up get dressed as if i'm going into an office as far as or like inside. a board meeting or something that's right what like. but still i'm presenting myself in front of the camera as a professional. Yeah. So I get up and I get ready for work because I am going to work. Yeah. So I look at myself in that way. So I'm going to make sure that I'm fashion from head to toe. At least I'm matching and I'm dressed from head to toe. It's mm -hmm. not like I have on a dress top and I have my pajama bottoms on. You know? Hey. <laughs> see me with school. We've seen those commercials like that. <laughs> I'm going to see me with school on the other hand. I was like pajamas. Or you might get a shirt today. That's it. <laughs> right. But, but then it, when they start putting you out on camera, yeah, then, you, then when they start saying, hey, you got to be on camera when you school, still did like you virtual know, school. I'm going to say still did like, you know, how like any student will go up in there. Like you might get like a shirt. You might get sweatshirts, uh, a hoodie, something. Right. You know, just something that's like a throw on. Nothing. T no, not too much effort goes into it unless you're like doing it outside of school, of course, which is how I was personally. So, but I like to get ready for work, even though I'm working from home. I'm still getting ready for work because it like makes you said it makes you feel productive. That's what that is. I'm gonna be productive. Yeah. And it's I'm gonna treat my office space as a work environment because it is my work environment. Mm -hmm. So I see people virtually, but to me, we are working together. We at work. We just in a virtual world. Yeah. So I'm still dressing accordingly. I just don't. I feel like you just. When you don't give that full effort mm -hmm. as if you're going to work, mm -hmm. then you're probably not going to give it 100% when you're there. So, hey, that's just me that, and my perspective. Person. Again, don't come back, come at me or anything like that. That's just me and my per That's the way I have to mentally get myself ready. Put it like that. I have to mentally get myself ready to say, hey, I'm getting up. I'm going to work. Find me an outfit to put on, yeah. and I'm going to work. But, again, I'm more or less of a conservative person as far as dressing. And because I say conservative, modest, I mostly yeah, go with that's modest me. more sense. I don't probably post some pictures, maybe something. I don't know. Yeah. You're probably just going to see the top part. You may not see the bottom too much. But if you we really know, want but... an explanation with my mom anyway, it's most of the time you might get uh, like a t-shirt or as it is right now, long sleeve most of the time. Uh, some pants... Capris, no shorts. 
hoodie style. <laughs> something she, like this. I'm going to gonna the, say, to uh, just something covered. this part out. <laughs> I'm going to yeah. say just something covered. That's it. Yeah. Uh, specifically, you know, she would have um, just, you know, some flats. You might get like a little little heel, you know, nothing. A very small heel. Yeah, I'm like, like I said, a little heel. I mm. can't I can't wear. Well, she's already tall. I mean, she doesn't need to be like six foot four. <laughs> right, right. So, no, I don't, I don't need all of that. It's just that, hmm. Less is more. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. More is less for me. I wear more conservative stuff. Oh, yeah. I don't, like I don't, that. yeah. I don't. <laughs> I looked at her so stuck. I'm not I'm the sorry one for that, the audio listeners. I looked right. at her so stuck. I'm like, I can't. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm more of a cover myself type of person. But I do wear things where it accentuates my body. Yeah, especially like in I, a conservative I, way. I'm gonna say, especially with like I would say like maxi dresses or maxi skirts when she used to wear them when I was little. Anyway, a lot. It it looked on her really well. She's sipping tea right now. She has to do that. I am not gonna cut that part out. <laughs> me 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 me. <laughs> Specifically, uh, like I said, in general, when she used to wear like maxi skirts and maxi dresses a lot when I was growing up anyway, it still made her body, you know. It goes with me. Yeah, and especially with the colors. She never yeah. like done either like it's a solid or it's like a very fun print. That's that's how it always is. Right. Because even accessorizing. Not... Well, yeah, I do have prints. I yeah. like prints. Yeah. I'm going to say, even with accessorizing specifically, you never really like deck it out like I would normally do. Even today, I don't have nothing. But normally, most of the time with me, um, it's a lot of necklaces. You get some big earrings and stuff. You you don't even wear no dainty necklaces. You use I don't shoes, go but... full accessory yeah. unless I'm going to earrings an event. Earrings and that's it. But earrings I... and rings and that's it. Unless I'm going to an event. Yeah. If I'm going to oh, an you event. you would wear some bling bling. Yeah, you <laughs> yeah, I will go and make sure that everything is going to coordinate with yeah. my outfit. Yeah. Other than that, as far as from home, yeah. just earrings and uh, my wedding ring. That's yeah. about it. Yeah. That's all I'm gonna have on. But like I said, for me anyway, when it comes to dressing, I would, you know, specifically, like right now, be long sleeve, short sleeve, tank top. You get what you want. Pants. I don't. I'm not a caprice person. I don't like how that looks on me. Uh, I like my capris. I'm more since either long pants, wide cut, straight, skinny jeans. I'm all for it. I love my shorts, especially in the summertime with some fishnets or some stockings. Yeah, That's you my do. thing. Even your dresses, you would have on mm -hmm. uh, fishnets with those as well. Yeah, because in my opinion, it, that's a form of accessorizing for me to just, you know, it mix and match with a few things. That's it. As I tell her. Fashion repeats itself <laughs> because I remember the Even fishnet. Even my grandma says she used to wear yeah, stuff like that. So. The fishnet phase. I think they had the ones that with the holes in it mm -hmm. or the polka dots. I think they had the polka dots yeah, they in it. That, that, that went well for the phase with us growing up. You had the big fishnets. You had the smaller ones. And then you have like tight knit ones. Yep. Even with the tights, it's like either... Full coverage, sheer, and then like almost looks like skin, like you can see right. your skin type of sheer. Everything is just full circle. Yeah, it's new to you. No, because not... no, it's you. It's new to your generation just because like that, it's yeah. introduced to your generation, especially styling wise for sure. Right, right. But fashion has always been like that. Fashion always repeats itself. Right. History always repeats itself. I always say that. We'll talk about that later. Right. <laughs> so it it it's reinventive, but that. Fashion designer may tweak something just a little bit yeah. when it comes down or to it. Or make it more nuanced. Right, just because more. I think what the pencil, what they call it, the, the pencil skirt. Yeah, the pencil skirt specifically, you know. Came back around. Yeah. Even pinstripe stuff like the. Uh, Came back around. Yeah. And uh, certain accessories to come back around to and everything like plaid. that. Plaid. Yeah, plaid definitely always will come full circle. If you don't see plaid around this time of year, you're not doing it right, in my opinion. So, yeah, uh, specifically, we're going to take a little break and we're going to come right back after this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
we back. <laughs> oh, she had to cough. <laughs> that was the right time to pause and take a break because I had to cough. Yeah. Uh, oh, goodness. Okay, so. Talk about shoes. Ooh, I like shoes because, in my opinion, for some people that know me, some of the shoes I definitely wear is not normal. <laughs> I specifically wear platform shoes and platform shoes only. You might catch me like in a high top shoe or like just some uh, sandals or flip flops from time to time because that's comfortability. When I wear my platforms, I want to be decked down (laughs) from head to toe. That's how it is most of the time. But I love my platform shoes. I specifically have three pairs. One is a tennis shoe and then two of them are specifically like dress, like I dress up type of shoe, you know. One of them I did wear to my graduation, and I planned that out from head to toe. I look gorgeous in all but my pictures. But you planned that out a year in advance. Literally, I did. And At least I, with the dress anyway. I would tell the full story. Well, not from, I'll tell the full story with the fashion sense, more like that. Specifically with my graduation, I came to Georgia, specifically with my mom, and we... I asked her so bad, can we go to a thrift store over here? Because, you know, people say, you know, it's good to thrift in other places besides your hometown sometimes. Right. So she was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> so we went over specifically to, uh, is somewhere like near the vicinity of like my older cousin's house specifically. And we went to the thrift store and right there when we walked in, right in front of my face, it was this beautiful red dress. And yeah. I was like, Oh my gosh, next year's my graduation. I said I wanted to wear red. This is my dress. This is my dress. And if it isn't in my size, then it wasn't meant to be exactly in my size like I normally would wear it. I'm like, this is too much fate right here. I can't right now. And it worked. It worked too well. And then right. afterwards, like a whole year later anyway. It stayed in my closet, and I, of course, I tried it on again just to make sure, make sure it fits the size me right. right. Yeah. And uh, specifically with the photo shoot, with my pictures. You gotta post some of those pictures. Yeah, it's really cute. Uh, my graduation pictures. Uh, those ones she I did. I was a photographer. And did well. They turned out beautiful, and I didn't have the accessories, nor I had like planned makeup or hair yet. I we just. I talk, I tossed the dress on and called it a day. I had my slides on and everything. I'm like, okay. Yeah, I didn't go too far down, but yeah, yeah. But I pre-planned some shoes. I either said, a, I might do flats, but just be like a little bit decorative and everything like that, or I was gonna do platform shoes to match my style that I've been wearing lately. And it was decided platforms because my school at the time, shout out to Lafka, uh, specifically said. Y'all might as well wear flats because y'all going to be walking up some stairs and right. some steps and some hills. <laughs> and it's going to be a lot of moving around. It, the last thing you probably want is to trip, slip, and fall while you're getting your diploma. I've seen that happen. <laughs> while I've seen getting that your happen. diploma. That's it. Right, right. <laughs> and I was like, cool. I was going to wear platforms and flat shoes anyway. So I found these cute uh, shoes. They're Domarina shoes. I believe that's how you say the brand name. It had like a skull on the front. The zipper works. It was so cute. I got it off of eBay specifically because I know if I got it off the actual website, it was going to take two weeks. That was going to be too long. I right. needed express shipping. I don't want to pay for it. I want someone else to do that work for me. It cost a pretty penny, but I saved up the money to do so. And I bought those shoes. I bought some accessories. They were cheap, but they still were worth it. And I put everything together. And I looked. Gorgeous. I look so pretty. The pictures are gorgeous. And I will never forget that day, in my opinion. I just love that outfit a lot. <laughs> and then with you saying <clears throat> platform shoes, platform shoes as far as me knowing when they came out, we used to watch a show called Starsky and Hutch. Came out in the 70s. And it was a character on there. That they show him walking down the street. Mm. I want to say his name was Huggy Bear. Not like sure platform about that. boots or something? Like he had boots? some platform shoes on. They had a goldfish <laughs> in the heel of the shoe. <laughs> That's iconic. Right, I love that. right. But I'm just, and if you go back and you look at some old 60s, 70s Soul Train 
Oh lines, yeah, especially with those trains. shoes. You would for see, the 80s anyway? You would see platform shoes back in the 70s. 70s, yeah, that's right. 70s. That's back right, in the right. 70s. So it's still like we're going, like we're saying, fashion. Yeah. It, it goes it goes I mean, in a circle you, and it's new to each generation that it is introduced for sure, to. For me anyway, an influence with platform shoes that's like in our community, Prince, I love his outfits alone specifically. Oh, yeah. And he used Definitely. to wear platform shoes all a the lot, time. especially all the time. for his live performances. And some of his music he was videos short. too. He had to be taller. <laughs> yeah, but it, it his whole his whole aesthetic though was like just rock, but still R and B with this music. But you can go back to the Rolling Stones. Yeah, they had their I, shoes on as stuff. well. It's if we go back and look at, um, I want to say the group Kiss. Yeah, Kiss. I think they used to have sure. platform, platform platform shoes, shoes or big old. It, it was big chunky shoes, platform chunky shoes. Chunky shoes, yeah. It, it was all that, and it was more sense for the aesthetic of the group or that person on how they want to present themselves to right. the world. And that's how I personally feel with how my shoes are. My shoes express me as a person to a degree. Same with my outfits as well. Because we've know. been out in public and some of the outfits that she had worn out in public, strangers would walk up to her. Oh, I like your style. Yeah. I like what you have on. Make I her like feel a little outfit. bit uncomfortable at times. Because Especially because the person just walked just it's just like, hey, walk, how you doing? Just walk all right the past me, and I'm like, oh hi, how you doing? Oh, I really, I really love your style. And she was like, oh, oh okay, thank you. <laughs> I, I like I said, just spooked because my eyes just go big. I'm like, wait, you're talking to me of all people? I'm just just now. When we go how back to say some things that you wear draws attention to you, but you didn't, it won the attention. It, 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 I think like, it was I, the hairstyle. Yeah, you, if I you post take, some of these outfits, picture? yeah, if I post some of these outfits on screen, they're not like revealing or anything. Right. It's, it's really more sensitive. The ponytails go with the plaid and the makeup with the freckles, yeah. you know, this and that. So it goes with what you got. Yeah. I'm gonna say with it, the person that you're trying to pull out. Yeah. As far as, I guess you would cosplay. Character or whatever, not to the full extent no, of no, cosplay. No, 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 But more since you know, just maybe being cutesy. a little cutesy, a little edgy, a little bit of you know, just a little bit gothic sometimes because I would wear black lipstick out from time to time. But specifically, just expressing myself in a way that can be toned up, but also can be toned down too. That's just in my opinion. I don't go through all that. <laughs> Talk about a little bit of, you know, the the different ways that you would, like, dress yourself, like, probably recently anyway. Because you have bought a red maxi dress recently from the thrift store. That. that red maxi dress, it's more or less a summer dress. Yeah. And you... I wore it to Grandma's birthday party. Mm -hmm. I won't well, say party, party. It's just get together. It was get together. Yeah. So, you know, I am a colorful person. Mm -hmm. Red, yellow, orange, navy blue, or e what, electric blue. Yeah. I like All colors. All the colors. And it's like bright colors, too. It's like yeah. giving, it makes you happy. It makes <laughs> you smile. Like, giving like highlighter colors. That's what she wants. Right. Me, right. on the other hand, it's like my color palette is definitely on the warmer side. Like right now, you would never catch me. Even with my eyeshadow, for listeners anyway, I have like a... Dark blue eyeshadow in a in the middle of my eye is a light blue. You will never catch me wearing light blue like this on a regular basis. I am more sensible. Maybe like put some accessories that have light blue blue in it first before I actually put on light blue. But blue, the I guess you can say the tones. Yeah. I tone my color down during the the fall and winter months. So I do get into the blues or the Darker blues, like the brown, dark, the, browns, the rust the dark colors, greens, you know. The yeah, I get into, I get into that. Like that. Yeah, during during the fall and winter months. Yeah. See me, I that I'm like that all year round. No, you have to bring some. I'm all year round. You got to bring me. some colors <laughs> during the spring and summer. You got to bring some color in there. I love pink. I have some pink too. I just got fear in my eyes when you said pink. Because <laughs> I put her in pink all the time yeah, when she was growing did, up. I'm like, uh-uh. I, I looked cute for obviously pink my was age, a good color but on her. me now, I'm like, don't put pink on me. Please don't. I'll put eyeshadow pink on me and a pink lip before I put actual pink on my pink body. Because I look like a bubblegum just... <laughs> I guess 
you know, with me, when it came down to pink, I think when it come down to you being a little girl, that's what's like, you know, when you're doing a gender reveal today, yeah, like, pink just... and blue. So I just felt like pink was the color for girls, and anything that I found pink went on her. I'm going to say, once again, you believe what you want to believe when it comes to gender. But just in general, you know, it was cute for me, for my age, you know, especially with the little dresses and little baby socks and all that, you know, you the like bandanas. You socks too much, so. <laughs> During that one of months, yeah, I had to force socks on her. But <laughs> some of months, like it was socks. not, it was no sock time for her. We could just hang it up. So <laughs> summer, we just had to keep you in sandals. <laughs> That basically rolled around with you. So you were a sandal kid. Oh, my goodness. That's probably why you like the flip-flops. But, you know, again, flip-flop comes from the 70s. Yeah. Probably earlier than that because yeah. it's, it's kind of like a beachy type thing. I was say, speaking of, you know, when it comes to, like, beachy stuff, you know, let's talk about some summer stuff. It's completely different for both of us when it comes to a beach, what we wear on a beach, right. for sure. For me, anyway, I'm willing to you know, show some skin. We on the beach. It's hot. <laughs> show it off a little bit. That's just me. Obviously, I will probably, like, you know, maybe put on, like, a thin cardigan that will, like, cover me from head to toe and, like, have some shorts. You know, I'm not that revealing when I'm, like, walking around. But if I'm on the beach, I'm going to be wearing just my uh bathing suit, one piece, whatever I'm wearing on. That's it. Now, this one, on the other hand, is different. <laughs> All I want to do is just sit in a beach chair and watch the water. So I'm not. I don't want to get in it. It's common to me. I'm gonna sit on a, a beach umbrella, and I'm gonna have probably like uh, flowing clothes. That's yeah, it. just a sundress or a cover up. No bathing suit. Not mm-hmm. wearing that. Just uh, because, like I, I know, I'm not getting in the water. So yeah. I'm mm-hmm. not gonna spend money on a bathing suit. I'm not even getting in the water. Which I know makes where, sense. I'm, where I'm it gonna makes be sense. sitting at. But yeah, just something comfortable, so I can just sit. And watch yeah. the waves. Yeah. And the people in the water. <laughs> and listen, the things that you see, the uh, seagulls and all, all the birds. Right, because if we go like on the pier or whatever, you can actually see the dolphins. Yeah. So I've seen that when we went to Fort Walton Beach. Mm-hmm. So that was really nice. Which, one, and we'll talk about this specifically, I think, next week, specifically, uh, places that we want to go in the future anyway. Or places that we have been to. So that's going to be a fun episode. Yeah. And uh, we're going to take this little break and we'll be right back. She do her little dancey dance. <laughs> <laughs> I love her for this. I, I love doing this podcast with you. I don't say it on here. I normally would say it afterwards every time. Oh, I just so love sweet. doing this podcast with you, Mama. I love it doing it with you as well. And I'm so happy that you came around, although it was my idea like two, three sure years was ago. From the beginning. But hey, like I said in, in the pilot, it's all about timing. So mm-hmm. you have to be ready to put yourself out there to do what you want to do. But mm-hmm. I enjoy spending this time with you talking about a topic that mm-hmm. most of the times parents probably don't even have the opportunity to spend time like this with the kids. So yeah. take the time out of your day. Give me about an hour, even though we know we're going to talk some more later on. Yeah. But give ourselves that time with each other so we can bond. And it's beneficial. It's constructive. Yeah. It's not a debate. It's fun. Yeah. And I enjoy it. Yeah. So, yes, I am going to relish in this moment with my child. <laughs> and we're going to roll this into the wind. The wheels fall off. <laughs> the so, wheels yes, fall off. That's thank you so much for wanting to spend this time with Mama. <laughs> Anyways, fashion. <laughs> oh, so you, you all see how she pivoted from that really, really quick? So anyway, oh, we're not going to get into this mushy stuff. Anyway, fashion. So she rolled around on that really, really quick. So we just go talk about fashion again. <laughs> Let's go with it. <laughs> oh, my God. My, I'm lightheaded. Anyway. <laughs> Makeup. Sure. This is like, sure, let's talk about this for a little bit with me. You don't wear nothing. It's no. like that. I got her into skincare, though, so that's a win for me. Uh, skincare. <laughs> I'm going to take care of my skin. I'm going to do that part. Uh, yeah. I'm really going to do that. But as far as makeup, no. Now, in my opinion, when it comes to makeup with me, when I, it was it 13, 13, 14? No, it was 14. I believe so. 
so <laughs> I will zoom into my face specifically because I know she'll be mad at me if I probably will post her picking her nose. <laughs> right. But anyway, with makeup, specifically for me, uh, I think it was like I was 14 or 15 years old when I was doing all-star cheerleading and I wanted to, you know, the the judges are so far when it comes to all-star cheerleading when you're actually performing. So I wanted to show it with my face by putting on some makeup. At first it was like, you know, just a little profile and a little, just a little something. She was very subtle. And then afterwards it came to full beat. Full it had to be beat. crisp and clean with yes. a lot of glitter and a very nice lip. That's what it turned into. And But it, sh- it, it, it was ex- nice. made me yeah. express myself yeah. more. It was very nice. I, it was never like too too far overboard no, for me. It's, right. And a lot of people compliment compliment me not only on the simple makeup that I did, especially for showcase, and then the very big makeup that I did, or at least the a lot of makeup that I did for competitions. People still compliment me from other teams, from my own team. My coaches will compliment me. Other coaches, the people backstage will compliment right. me. I'm I like, like, this is too much. <laughs> I like the eyes because you, yeah, really, eyes were very you really accentuate yeah. your eyes when you are doing your makeup. I mean, even me right now, basically, right. I, I like to do a little, a, a little out of color. That's it. But and, what, excuse me, but the thing about makeup to me mm-hmm. is I'm fine with makeup as long as you are you yeah. with the makeup on. When you look totally different when the makeup is off, then I feel like, okay, they just went too far over to try to hide the trueness in you. Yeah, I agree. And, you know, covering up, covering up what makes you. Make, makeup should emphasize your face, not really minimize your insecurities, in my opinion. Well, that's, that's to just, a certain that, extent. That, that, that's I, just I, me. Yeah, yeah. That's, that, just, that's, that's just me. I get especially you on that part. O- over time, especially for sure, you know, some people are insecure about their eye bags, so they will, like, you know, either use concealer. I try to make this one use concealer, but it just won't work. Uh, we we going to keep trying, though. I, I'm going to test out a few things, and if it works, My you know, thing I'll tell is, you, but... like you were stating, makeup should enhance your beauty. Yeah. But another thing, when it comes down to me, I know with my age, I have hot flashes. I ain't got time to be trying to touch up no makeup or nothing like that. With with a hot flash. Listen, I was sweat with my makeup on. It would be dripping down. And I'll forget I have it on, and I'll get the rubbing in it. You wipes it, it hard, a, and it, it makes me mad. off my face. So I'm not I'm not gonna even take you know have you take the time out to even go do that as far as enhancing my beauty as far as to accessorize what is, I have on. Yeah, I'm just not doing her it. Skin is already like really really good for her age anyway and even though she's like says like i have really bad dark circles i'm like where <laughs> because, well because um, i i work on it you know I, she I, don't have that many wrinkles it's I use, not like she has like quote-unquote mature skin she has in my opinion very youthful skin for her age thank you <laughs> i appreciate that but you know it still goes along with a skin regimen routine yeah, yeah. you know i try to make sure i do because of you, mm-hmm. because I wasn't doing it. You got older. You know, I did see s- certain skincare things growing up, and I'm like, why I need that? I'm not, I don't wear makeup. Yeah. But you educated me on yeah. that part Especially as far as. Sure. No matter what, you should always clean your face every day, no, ma- no matter what it is. Sometimes once, sometimes twice a day. You know, at least, you know, clean your skin. Right. Because dirt builds up on it. You and sweat. I had Oils to learn. are on your skin. Right. Clean it off. It, it does not like, need to be I there. I feel like washing my face was doing it. Yeah. But it, it really wanted to give me a good cleaning. Good clean. So then I had to learn how to not use harsh things. Because right. when we was growing up, Noxzema was the thing. So mm-hmm. everybody wanted to buy Noxzema. Mm-hmm. I tried Noxzema. My skin is sensitive. It's very sensitive. So, so that fine. Noxzema <laughs> burnt my skin wow. i could not use that as a cleanser and mm-hmm. maybe that kind of like pushed me away from you know cleanser mm-hmm. because you put that stuff on your face and it started tingling and burning mm-hmm. i'm like no let me get this stuff off my face really <laughs> quick or i would use certain soaps growing up and some of that 
dry your skin. Right, dry your skin out. So we don't have any. Or even sometimes creates pimples because you the soap itself, the soap bar anyway, is not really the most sanitary thing in the world. Right. So I have a whole skin <laughs> routine. I'll, I'll, I have I'll my deep moisturizers. Dive I have all of that <laughs> yeah. because of her. So yeah, thank I'll... you so much for that. <laughs> I'll deep dive this just for two minutes and that's it. Specifically, you know, when it comes to skincare, for me anyway, you know, a good cleanser is really nice. Nothing too harsh, like a nice gentle cleanser, in my opinion. Everybody should have that. And, you know, a deep cleanser, specifically like a salicylic acid or specifically a, like, a uh, niacinamide type of cleanser. Something that can get deep into your pores and gets in the oils and stuff. So... Yeah, specifically, um, you know, having good serums that work best for your skin, especially um, some retinoids, actually retinol specifically, is sometimes can be too harsh for some people's skin, especially if it's not um, treated retinol. Uh, when it comes to, you know, moisturizers, you know, a thick, rich moisturizer will be good, you know, for dry skin. When it comes to, you know, an everyday person, you know, a gel moisturizer might be your thing. And if you want a nice good in between, a nice light one, lightweight one will be really good for you. And also on top of that, just in general, sealing that in with a sunscreen in the morning. Wear your sunscreen. No matter what, wear your sunscreen. Wear your sunscreen every day. I don't care if it's cloudy. Heat is everywhere. UV rays everywhere. Even when you're looking at your phone, that's a UV ray that's going to your face every day. Put your sunscreen on. Put your sunscreen on. <laughs> Please. You've been warned. <laughs> because it helps with your skin, specifically with dark marks, and also when it comes to pimples, and it's an anti-aging treatment. That's literally the main thing why it's advertising that it's an anti-aging type of thing. But anyway, we're talking about skin for too long. It's supposed to be about fashion. <laughs> I mean, skin, go, I mean... Skin and your makeup goes along with fashion. Yeah, it does. So <laughs> what you put on your face should match up with your outfit that you yeah. have on. So Which, it always kind of like goes like that hand in me. hand. Yeah. Hair, if we want to talk about that. Hair, since right. we talked about it goes, hair last week. It goes you know? into that. So all of that. Ha- you, you're telling a story with your outfit yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. So your makeup and your hair should also match up with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with that. Uh, We could talk about accessories for a little bit, you know. Like I said, like we said earlier anyway with my mom, some, sometimes she'll like wear her earrings and her wedding ring and that's it. But when it comes to events or just, you know, special occasions, she'll I'm put on little bling for some bling. Accessories. And like I said, she'll put on a little bling bling, a little bracelet, you know, just nothing over the top though. It's no. nothing like stacking on necklaces like I would do. My and, skin is very sensitive, so I have to be yeah, very, true. very particular about what I'm going to accessorize with my outfit so minimum for me is it's good yeah uh but for me on the other hand like i said with chains i love chains specifically i could not wear those chains my skin would break out very I, quickly. I i just personally like doing that and it has broke out on my neck we're not saying it hasn't because it right. has <laughs> right it has and um i just learned over time too when it comes to jewelry Different colors of jewelry looks good on certain skin tones. You taught me that specifically. Right. You said gold works best with us. In my personal opinion, silver looks great. I best used on to me. wear gold all the time. Then I start wearing silver. It was more. Even yours is more or like platinum. A, yeah, that's what that is. It's more. It's not really true silver. Mine's more of a true silver than yours. Yours right. is more like on the sense of like a grayish uh type of like you said platinum. Right. And. It, it looks it looks great on both of our skin tones, you know. Like I said, I used to wear gold in the beginning because, like I said, it had the impulsive thought of, oh, gold is supposed to look good on my yellow melanin skin. In my opinion, it washes the whole thing out for me personally, dainty or over the top. But silver is where it's like, bam, you see it. That's how I am, you know. So... And especially for me, when it comes to expressing myself with fashion and accessories, I love my earrings. I yeah. love my dangle earrings. I have scissor earrings. I have specifically, you know, star earrings, which and those some ones earrings are my that's too heavy. Yeah, <laughs> which have hurt my ears. But right, so still, I would do it for fashion. I'll do it for fashion. It's part tribute. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't hurt myself for fashion. <laughs> if it don't feel good, if it 
if it's too heavy, I, I'm just not going to, I'm not going to put it on. I'm not going to do it. It's going to break me out. No, not for fashion. This was the all over the place. But that's, but that's how you mature and you learn that, okay, I can pivot and yeah. find something else that's going to make this outfit yeah. do what I wanted to do. Yeah. Overall, in my opinion, wear what you want, no matter anybody's judgment, you should be happy over how you walk out the door and present yourself either way. Um, when it comes to fashion, history always repeats itself. Is these especially decades will always come back in time and right. style always. And um, I would just say one last thing too: experiment, experiment with a couple things, you know, because you might not know. You might like a certain style and you're just timid about doing it. Just try it, see if you like it. My auntie always said that, and I love her for that. <laughs> So, specifically, we're going to take a little break. No, let me say this before we take this break. Too, I just want to make sure that you put clothing on that's going to make you feel good. Yeah. A brand name is good if you can afford it, right. but you become your own brand. Mm-hmm. You represent who you are when yeah. you wear your clothes. Never let someone make you feel smaller because your parent is working hard to keep a roof over your head, keep food on the table to provide you with the necessities, whereas that brand name, fashion designer, clothing that your parent is not going to buy for you, it's not making you, you, it's not going to make you any less because they're not buying it for you. You become your own brand. You become that individual that you want to be and don't think that you have to have on some clothes that's going to say, oh, I've become this individual because my parents were able or went and sacrificed and bought me something that they probably couldn't afford to buy you, but it's something that probably made you happy. So just you wear something that's going to be best for you and be be you. I definitely agree with that. Alrighty, let's take a little break and we're going to end the episode here. Alrighty, podcast listeners and viewers. Um, if you want to follow the podcast, you can follow it at What's the Topic Again podcast on YouTube. Yes. And please rate us on Spotify and Apple Music. Please like it. Let me say an Apple Podcast. Please, please, please. And also subscribe to our YouTube channel and please button. like this video specifically. I like it. And um. Go to our website. <laughs> well, go to our website, please. www. Uh, topic again. Pod. Oh, it's not podcast, but what's the topic again? Dot com specifically. And um, we'll have that. We'll put that in. The, we always uh, do description. in the description box, right? As always. Again, thank you all so much for following us, yes. and watching our videos. Yes. We allowed us to funding. We appreciate yes. it. Follow me specifically. I am. Everywhere at M four R S X L O V E. Like I said, I don't post everywhere, but I am everywhere on the internet. Hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week and a good Sunday. And thank we'll you, see you guys you. next week for another video. Bye. Bye.